Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender. And I use Blender 3.6, render on a MacBook Pro M1 chip with 16 RAM. In this video, I use a soda can model I made. So start with a domain, click Shift A to add a cube and place it like this. Then click on Object and then Quick Liquid and here we have a liquid stimulation. Now scale your domain. Press S and hit 2. Then press G to grab and move your domain, and now press S and X to scale in the X axis. Then S and Z to scale it in Z axis. The press number 3 on your numpad, this is how you enable the numpad. Go to Edit, the Preferences, go to the Input and check the Emulate numpad. To switch View, and press S and Y to scale in Y axis. Then select your cube and hit G and Y to move it in the Y axis. But we are not done yet. Rename the cube to Flow and select the domain and go down to Cache. And click here. Make a folder and name it so you remember where things are. Change the resolution divisions to 200 or more. But for this video and tutorial, I will do like 128 in resolution. This depends on what type of computer you have. Change the end frame to 60 and the type to modular. That means you can bake each thing separate. Don't forget to check the resumable. That means if your blender crash, you can start from the last frame you bake or you want to cancel your baking. But before you bake your things, go to Field Weights and change the gravity to zero, and then go to the Scene Properties and uncheck the gravity too. Click on your object and go to Physics Properties and select Fluid and make your object to Effector. Also go to your flow and check the initial velocity and change the Y axis to minus 10. Go back to your domain settings and click on Bake. Wait for the baking to bake. Then scroll down to the liquid settings and check the mesh. Change the Upres factor to 4 and then click on Bake Mesh. Wait for the bake to baking. But before making materials, go to the modifiers and add a smooth modifier. Change the factor to 2 and the repeat to 4. Also right-click and shade it smooth. So now we have some water. Let's make a material for it. Go to the shading and select new material. Change the roughness to 0, the transmission to 1, and the IOR to 1.33. Change the color to full white. Click Shift A to add a Fresnel and plug that in to Emission, also add a color ramp and plug it between. Change the IOR to 1.03, and here is the settings. Go back to the layout and add a plane. Press the R button and X button to rotate in the X axis, press S to scale the plane to 15, and hit 7 on your numpad to get to your top view, and select the plane, and press G plus Y to move it on the Y axis and press S and 1.2 to scale it a little bit bigger. Let's add a camera. Hit 7 on your numpad for top view, and press G plus Y to move it on Y axis. Change the millimeters to 90. Let's add another window so we can see the camera view. Hit 0 to see the camera view. Don't forget to press this little green camera so it's get active. Move your camera. And something I like to do is drag this all the way to 1 so it's black around. Let animate the camera. Hit N and this thing pops up. And make sure you are on the one keyframe. Right-click and insert a single keyframe on the Y axis. And make the same with the Y rotation. Then go to frame 60 and change the rotation to 10. Right-click and make a single keyframe and drag the camera on the Y axis back. Right-click and make a single keyframe. Then go to front view by hit one on your numpad. And select the plane and press S and X to scale it on X axis. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my tutorial.